What's up guys, it's Paula from the Loose Joints and today's review is going to be on the Big Sister, Little Sister 2 pack. It's a Toys R Us exclusive. Just giving you guys a look. And here's the back of the box. So uh, let's get into it. So to start off this review, I just want to say that these are pretty good figures, but one of them has better articulation than the other, and it is this one. Uh, she, she has really good articulation. I like it. So uh, let's review her first. So the little sister is pretty nice, uh, pretty small too. Very good detail. You can see that there's a lot of dirt like on her... Um, on her feet there's a little speckles too it's just it's not just like one clob of black on her foot there's little specks uh, she has like dirt right here as well that you can see as well as on her shirt her arms also have that and her little thing where she takes like she takes stuff out of the out of the people <laughs> In Rapture, it's all dirtied up too, which is cool. She's very demonic looking with her yellow eyes. Her ponytail is really flexible too. And so is her skirt. Her skirt's very rubbery. For articulation, it's very nice too. It's, it's better than the big sister, which is surprising. <laughs> like her arm can go all the way around. Out and bends at the elbow. And swivels, yeah, it swivels <laughs> to that. And her leg can go out, in, and it also bends, which is very cool, very nice touch. Her head can look around, can look down, that far up, and also bends. And but look how far she can bend down. Like she can look at like the people on the floor and stuff when she's like taking the stuff out of them. And yeah, very nice detail. I like the little sister a lot. The big sister kind of have some problems with her. Uh, her arms, her arms bend, but not that much. And her legs are kind of scary to bend because they have those little leg braces. But let's see if I can do it. I think it was this one that I bent. There you go. So yeah, it bends just like that. It's kind of scary. You really have to like hold her legs so that like you won't break something off of it. Uh, she can swivel her leg as well. That. And then I think it goes out. But I'm too scared because I don't want to break it that much. Uh, it doesn't have a swivel on the waist, which is weird. But can go up and down. Like that. Her arms can go forward, back, out, in. And these are rubbery, rubbery plastic. So you won't risk breaking these things. Um, her elbows don't really bend that well but this one bends an okay decent amount her head has a swivel but it's kind of tight so I'm not sure if like it can actually swivel but like I feel the joint there and yeah that's the articulation for her or her foot has a, like a swivel too but doesn't really matter what's weird about her foot is that it's hollow it's either where she's wearing platforms or that's actually how it's supposed to be in the game, but I doubt that. But yeah, it's weird that they gave her a hall of feet. I mean, the big daddy came with actual stuff in her in his feet, but whatever. Uh, great detail on, on the big sister, though. Everything's on there from the game as far as I can tell. It comes with this little carriage, and you can take the little sister and put her in there, and she can, like, ride along with her, which is, I think, is a very neat touch. 
she has drawings on her on her little air canister thing uh, here's little fishes and then down there you probably can't see it too well but there's actually a drawing of two little sisters and her it's a very crude drawing but I think it goes goes well with the figure uh, size the big sister is very big the little sisters very small obviously and let me see if I can get them stand up straight to show you the size uh, she's kind of hard to stand but once you have her standing she doesn't fall she won't fall there you go so about almost as or a little taller than the big daddy uh, in the head area but overall like the big daddy is a lot bigger and wider so I don't know I like if I had to choose between these figures, I'd probably choose the Big Daddy just because it's the Big Daddy. But the Big Sister and Little Sister pack is pretty cool. And, uh... Hmm. Let's do Yatsuba. <laughs> Let's do Yatsuba. So... <laughs> it's her compared to Yatsuba. I don't know, like... This this pack's pretty pretty um pretty worth it if you want the little sister for the big daddy. I know it's it's not as accurate since like this is supposed to be like an older version of a uh, little sister. But overall, great pack. I suggest purchasing it, uh, and it's a nice thing to add to your collection, especially if you're into Bioshock. So this is Paula from the Loose Joints signing out and. Subscribe if you want, comment, rate, and do whatever. Alright guys, peace out.